What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video we're going to be diving into another Nick Jonas track. Now this is from the soundtrack of Ugly Dolls. I have no idea what that is. Although judging by the names that are listed on the soundtrack, it's kind of a stacked list. I'm not going to lie. Um, So this is the Ugly Truth from Nick Jonas. I'm super excited to check this out. Before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to Shannon over on Patreon for actually requesting this. Thank you so much for supporting me and your love for Nick Jonas. If you guys want to check out Patreon, I have all of the Jonas Brothers albums as full uncut album listening parties. That's where we jam the whole thing. I've also got a reaction to the Jonas Brothers documentary that they did over on Amazon, I think. It was like Amazon or Hulu. I'm not sure. It's over there. You guys can check it out. You don't have to sign up. You can look and see if you want to watch it. And then if you do, you can you can sign up. But if you guys want to support me, it would mean the world to me. The link's in the description. I'm excited to dive into this. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. Come follow me over on Instagram. Let's listen to The Ugly Truth. I know you're home to go to the big you know where. And you're here to try to earn your ticket there. Oh. Better listen now, but you haven't got a prayer. Let me break it down. If you want someone to love you, baby, you gotta look like me. Oh! Flawless, pure perfection, up a shell. Wait, what is it about Nick Jonas's voice that it fits so well in almost any style that he does? And I say only almost any style because I haven't heard every style that he's done. But another thing to point out here is like he really falls. I'm like real big on to like those intro bass lines. I think they're super important, right? And I just love how heavy this bass is because Nick sounds fucking awesome over it. Look like me. I'm flawless, pure perfection up a shell. And my first impression of you, as far as I can see. Oh! You simply can't compete with my sweet self. Your hair is thick as mine. Woo! Like your arms as plump as mine. How the moves you got is dropped it hot as this. Oh man, I would have loved to see what he looks like recording this. If not, let me hit you with the bottom line. Got to measure. You gotta catch that beat. So let me be honest. I got to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Whether you like it or not, your mind's too short. Your way too thin. Is that the blemish on your nerves? He's just got, you know what it is? He's got a really great ability to find like the funk in just about anything and bring it to life. So even if you have like a funky instrumental already, I feel like you put Nick on the track and he has a way to pull out some of those best parts of that instrumental. And that's why I want to see him recording this. Cause can you imagine him just like catching a fucking vibe? Be so sick. So let me be honest. I got to be honest. Woo! I'm going to be honest. Whether you like it or not, your mind's I mean, okay. U G L Y, no alibi. I've just upset you, but people, let's get real. Fuck, there it is again. Club that you won't in. There's a price to pay, you betcha. Hey, you gotta look at deals, or you'll end up in the old recycling bin. Smile as white as this. Are your glutes as tight as this? In the trash it and they'll Are your glutes as tight as this? Or you'll end up in the old recycling bin. Smile as white as this. Are your glutes as tight as this? In the trash it and they'll mash it in the glow. Just a flaw as slight as this. Just one tiny detail to beat them. Oops, oh well, I'm sorry, Sayonara, Toodaloo. But hey, I can help you. Well, possibly help you. Well, hopefully help you. Okay, wait, this is actually really fucking sick because I've never heard him do this, um, this like musical or soundtrack type song. I don't believe not where he's doing this. Um, like, you know, when it's made for like a musical, like a big band type sound. And he's definitely got that. It's really interesting to hear him doing that. Yes, oops, oh, well, I'm sorry. Sayonara, but hey, I can help you. Well, possibly help you. Well, hopefully help you. Oh, God damn. Ooh. 
I was hoping I was going to get that lyric right. It's actually also really cool to hear him over an instrumental like this, an instrumental that you can tell was going to be on a soundtrack. I love that, like, you know, that 70s and 80s kind of sound that you're hearing through it, but you know it's going to be on a soundtrack. And it's such an interesting instrumental to have... Um, to have Nick Jonas on. But like I said before, he has this way of pulling out the funkiest elements and really hooking onto them to like where he's going to bring his vocals in. And I'm such a fan of it. So mm. Look at you, look at you, look at you. I ain't seen nothing like you before. I mean, words fail me. I mean, I'm tongue tied. I mean, I'm speechless. Uh oh. Baby. What's a thing like you doing in a place like this? I gotta tell you, girl, you're pretty. Pretty ugly. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Before we got into the pretty ugly part, um, I'm I'm getting such a prince inspiration from Nick Jonas right here. Can I just take that back for a second? Before. I mean, words fail me. I mean, I'm tongue tied. I mean, I'm. It's that coolness baby. about it. It's like sexy. What's a thing like you doing in a place like this? I gotta tell you, girl, you're pretty. Pretty ugly. <laughs> It almost sounds like Ghost Monster. I ain't afraid of no ghost. It kind of sounds like that right there. Let me, let me one more time. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Oh, hold on. I got to I'm sorry. I got to take that in one more time. Listen to this bass. Ooh. I only point out the bass there because it, it really like it sets the stage for him to do this vocal. I'm sorry, one more time. It's just so good. Dude, like, is there anything that he can't do? Like I was saying, I'm never like I'm always blown away at what kind of um, presentation we're getting from him when it comes to any genre, because there's nothing that I haven't heard him do that he didn't do well. And that's what's so fucking cool about his voice. You know, you hear him in the Jonas Brothers or like especially early Jonas Brothers. You've got this like pop punk kind of sound. You know what I mean? And then as you hear the evolution of the Jonas Brothers and then obviously like Nick Jonas and then Nick Jonas going on to do his own stuff and showing us his R and B side, that soulful side. And then what I've been seeing kind of recently when it comes to just various points in his career, whether it be a soundtrack or just a live performance with like a little bit of a reggae vibe. The point being he has versatility that is absolutely crazy. And honestly, it's one of the reasons why I really love doing what I do because he's an artist that I've been very aware of, obviously for a long time. The Jonas Brothers, though I didn't listen to a lot of their music, obviously until we did reactions, like I was aware of who they were. And Nick Jonas, his career obviously being so massive, being able to actually go and like just see all the things he's been he's been capable of doing in his career has been really sick. So him doing this big ass big band show tune type vibe, I'm like. It's not something I would expect to hear from him, but I'm not even shocked to hear it from him because of the kind of stuff that we've heard him do before. And what's really interesting, though, is that it's super unique to hear him on this type of track because this is definitely something I've never heard him really do with his voice before. It had this almost narration slash musical Broadway theater type go at it. Um, but at the same time, he's nailing these fucking notes. So it's cool to kind of have this 
this hybrid of Nick where he's almost like playing a character as he's singing at the same time. You know, sometimes soundtracks are easy. They'll just grab a track that's already out and they'll, you know, use it in part of the thing and it'll be like a really cool thing. But it's also really cool to have original tracks that are recorded specifically for the movie that are utilized in ways that actually tell the story of a movie. And then you have a you know moment like this where we actually get to fucking have cool vocals from Nick Jonas, who's also kind of playing a character. And that's really badass to me. I also really love the fact, and I, I'm going to talk about it again. It's probably annoying, but I love how much low end was in this song because I feel like Nick Jonas utilized that to his advantage a lot. He would kind of play off of those bass riffs and hit for whatever reason, his voice was just sounding so fucking angelic over how low some of the pieces of this instrumental was. So for me, that was definitely one of the highlights. Um, and again, I feel like I need to see him in like a studio session recording this because like I said, when it comes to all the possibilities of him, like possibly playing a character and all these things while he's performing, it'd be really cool to actually see him bring that to life. He does have a very cool fucking stage presence about him like you know when somebody's just cool like you know whenever you see them and they're on stage and you can just tell like dude i feel like i'm supposed to watch in this person's direction no matter what they're doing well that's what nick jonas does so you know he is catching a vibe off this track in a booth and i would love to hear that the last notes in this by the way if you guys want when the video is over you should go to the original and just keep replaying that section because it is just absolutely beautiful the way that instrumental drops that do 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 bass riff comes in we get those vocals i'm fucking here for it i love Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.